Today we're going to build and decorate this modular picture wall with the help of the HP NV Photo 7855 printer. So this project's actually going to be pretty straightforward. It's really simple in that to make the entire project, you really only have to cut out one type of shape and then just repeat that shape, in my case, seven times. But actually, let me back up for a second and talk about why I'm doing this, and then we can get into the how. A couple of times a year, most notably during birthday parties, my wife and I like to decorate this blank wall in our house with square photos. It's kind of like having a living Instagram feed. Anyhow, what we would do is basically just tape a bunch of pictures onto the wall. It was always fun and people seemed to like it, but it wasn't really made to last. Within a couple of days, a quarter of the photos usually fell off. And well, we just thought it would be cool to come up with a more permanent, but still easy to switch version of the idea. So I'm gonna be building this whole thing out of some four quarter walnut, but there's really no reason that it needs to be that thick. So I started off by planing the whole board down to about a half of an inch thick. Now, obviously you can make this whatever size happens to work best for your space, but I wanted mine to be 60 inches across. So next I cross cut the board to that length. After that, I ripped out a bunch of one inch wide strips. I'm gonna be using seven of them in total, but again, you can make more or less depending on your space. Just having a bunch of strips of wood on your wall would be nice and all, but to actually make this thing function, the next thing I did was cut a groove that will go along the tops and the bottoms of the back of each of the strips. This is what the photos will slide into and what's gonna keep everything in place. When you finished cutting your pieces, this is about the shape that you should be left with. By the way, my grooves are about an eighth of an inch in either direction. So nothing here is going to weigh all that much, so I just attach the pieces to my wall using a finish nailer. To move things along quickly, I spent a minute or two making sure that the first piece was level and exactly where I wanted it to be. Then I cut these two spacer pieces out of some mat board. To nail in each subsequent piece, I just stick my spacers in to mimic the size of the photos and then repeated the process, just kind of working my way up until the whole thing was done. Having spent some time with the printer, I gotta say that hands down my favorite thing about it is how easy it is to use, and how seamlessly it integrates with your phone. You could use a computer if you wanted to, but it's so easy to resize and crop the images using the HP Smart App that you don't have to. Whether you want to print full bleed pictures where the image goes all the way to the edge of the paper, or photos with a little border like I happen to be doing here, you'll be up and running in a matter of minutes. It seems like the cameras in our phones have been a suitable replacement for having a dedicated camera, at least for most of us, for the past 10 years or so. And the fact is, they keep getting better. And it's true that they might never get all the way there, but the quality gap between camera and camera phone is definitely narrowing. And while that's awesome, one of the results is that we take more pictures than ever, but print fewer. So they just sit there, eating up hard drive space, never to be seen or more importantly, enjoyed. So that's kind of what this project was all about, giving ourselves a convenient and easy way to take the photos that we capture with our phones and getting them up and onto our walls. Because at the end of the day, scrolling through our camera rolls and sharing things over social media is great, but there's still some moments that should be shared in person. See you next time.